Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Don't Draw campaign. This is episode 10. We pick it up from turn 55 in the summer season of the year 201. So, last episode, uh, we ended with Dong Zhuo's successful attack against Jia Long's army. Uh, we boosted our intimidation all the way to 98, which means we need to conduct a few deals to get rid of it before we continue. Uh, we're going to get some more cash from uh, the Han Empire. And we also have another situation. Liu Bao has landed his army right next to our weapon craftsman, which means we have to sell it back to the Han. Um, just to not lose out on 15 points of intimidation. We're not going to be able to beat this army with the garrison, so might as well sell it. So that's two separate deals. Assuming we don't have any trade. Yep, no trade agreement possible. First, we'll sell them the territory. Um, right here. We don't really want anything back. Except for cash. Uh, regular and uh, per turn payment would be great. That's a little bit high. Let's do that. And then we'll cohere them for more cash. We're basically using our Vassalist Bank. That went a little too far. There we go. Alright, and then we need to spend our cohesion. Which means we also want cash. 16.6. That's a lot. But this is the best thing to do. Um, there's no point to trade territory with them. Simply because we can spend 2,000 or 5,000 any time to buy off a territory from them. So you end up getting more cash value essentially by doing this. And it helps that they're so rich. Almost there. Alright. Now we can uh, finish this fight, get 10 more uh, intimidation to boost us over 70 again. This is just delegate right here. Oh, we captured Zhalong, who's holding on to Provincial Advisor. Ooh, this might be useful for a set. I don't really care about Eavesdropper. But I think at this point, we'll just kill both. Because we don't really need the cash anymore. Alright, um... We still need to take care of the farmland. I think we'll give them some time to pull a new army onto the field. And we'll actually head back. Hmm. Over here, Li Bu is just gonna try to put fires out. Rebellion next turn. We can farm it again. Now, I do want to adjust this army though. Because I need officers who have access to the patient skill, which none of these guys uh, can actually get. We could put our daughter out, but she's the the where she started on her skill tree is quite far from patience. Li Ru has it, but he's not very strong because he's a strategist. So basically, champion strategists and sentinels have it. We need to keep an eye out on um, generals that we can recruit uh, going forward to try to find generals with the trait, uh, the skill already. All right, we'll just fix all the buildings. We're gonna convert all the M buildings to the tea house. Same thing here. Actually, we could have... Uh, entrepreneur needed. Okay. So we just need one of our um, marketplace to be upgraded. Uh, 
All right, I think that's all. Let's go next turn. All right, our vassal is asking us to declare war against Liu Bei, who's attacking them. Sure thing. All right, Gong Sun Zhan and Liu Bei declare war on uh, Huang Shao. Uh, Yuan Shao dragged them into the war with the Han Empire, which we responded by defending. All right, new characters. One level away from patience. Interested. I don't really care about uh, his other stats. We can just use him to farm uh, rebels. Uh, let's see who else. She's also one level away. She's actually good. Pacifist and Cordial are actually both great administrative skills. Oh, and kind. She's wonderful. Kongrong. Willing to spy, so not a spy. She's also one level away. Also decent administrator. What is going on? Alright, but I'm, I'm not sure if we can actually recruit her. Because she could be a spy. We're definitely interested in her. He has a good armor. For... Commanders. Yeah, I'm not sure about him either. We'll keep the girl. And we'll put her into action right away. We're gonna pull him back. And switch. The retinue with the girl we just recruited. Wait, her. She doesn't have patience yet, but once she level up, she will have it. Um, we'll get rid of the units. We don't need her to have the units. Ah, food production set. Okay, we'll consider putting this on uh, our uh, administrator in Wu Wei. Or actually, it may be Tang Wu later on, whenever we have more food. Alright, they can just take care of this. Alright, we'll delegate this. Hopefully we capture him. Hopefully he has the item. Nope, didn't capture him. One person leveled up. Two people leveled up. Well, the problem is they're never gonna get the right skill. We'll give him mighty knockback. All right. Um, how many more turns till? I think recalling and healing is faster than keeping them on the field. This is our big headache right now. Sahodun's going for our horse pasture and we can't stop him. Like even if we dash for it, three turns away. So he'll definitely take it. Alright, we'll still try to get as close as we can. This army is not really a threat. Um... Yeah, we're already doing the best we can in terms of movement. The only thing I can think of is we can give him this book. But Dashu is currently holding it, which their army also needed. Alright, we'll take food. We should upgrade it to a small city. And then put in a conscription building here. Alright, horse pastor is getting attacked. We're not upgrading it anymore. We'll upgrade the city. And I think we're officially out of cash. I don't think it's defended. We can check with her. 
We'll just go here. Can't see? What about here? Yeah, it's undefended. So that should be pretty easy. Fa Zhang leveled up. That's pretty quick uh, assignment. Flaming shot. He doesn't need this book. Alright, that might be it. Alright, so Haldun's going to take our land. We're going to lose 15 points. That's going to hurt. Hmm, we could rush down this group with some generals, but let's wait. Let's continue. All right, we're not going to bother fighting this. Sahodun's going to beat us, so we're just going to delegate here. All right, we lost the settlement. We'll try to get it back. In two turns. Uh, we also dropped. So... We're losing public order in a lot of places. Not the worst thing in the world. Because we do still want to farm some commanderies. We're still replenishing, so we're going to end our turn here. They're not sending any more new armies, and Liu Bao's forces are still somewhere here. And Tai Mao's forces are coming near Hanzhong, which is a little scary. But I think we'll be able to deal with it if we really had to. And this army can always just pull back. Alright, so our army's moved. We just need to take care of all the buildings real quick. We're going to spend most of our cash on building up for a while, and then we're going to boost our way all the way to more armies after we finish building up. And this is fine. We don't really need to rush it. Yeah, we can just go in next turn. Happy with things are. Alright, and Yuan Yao is attacking our High Empire. We definitely will help out. Alright, Gongsun Zan and Gongsun Du has signed a peace treaty. I'm surprised Gongsun Du is still alive. Alright, we're just going to war with everyone again. Li Bu has a new son. Okay, so. Things are getting busy here too. Tai Mao's army is approaching Han Zhong. I think if we just summon three generals here, we can hold him back. Liu Bell's army is coming into Ba. He can take some of these land and we'll take it back from him. Guo is leveling up. Um, we'll make him pick up patience. He's leveling up because he's administrator. Uh, we'll just go into the territory. We'll just delegate this. Play lose a hundred men. Two hundred seventy-six. A little bit, a little bit more than I thought. Don't draw leveled up. And we got a hostage. Who did we get? Jiao Bai. A bit useless. A very expensive hostage, too. Alright, we're gonna send him away. We can find better characters. Don't draw finally leveled up. Uh, Blade Breaker is what we want. Because that way we can actually use Reign of Terror to lose uh, melee evasion and then gain double armor very quickly. Alright, so I'm going to wait for Liu Bao to come over here and we'll fight him. Drawn Out also leveled up. We want this.
Yeah, we definitely want this. And we can hunt down Sahodun's army. No, we're not in range. But we can take back the horse pasture. And then get double... Get doubled in a fight. Hmm, interesting. Alright, we got a random armor. For strategists. Oh, we have a good one for you, actually. Right, Deltran can wear something pretty, too. And Fa Zheng can wear something pretty, as well. Okay. So I guess we'll fight this. And cut it out. Because we don't want to take any losses. Because we're about to get hit on both sides. So see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Clean fight. Now we just gotta get ready for both of them attacking us at the same time. We do have a lot of cash. The military crackdown is actually helping. Um, let's see. I'm not worried about Chang'an at all right now. We have this. It's pretty insane. Um, over here... We want to go the T route. We really need this building all the way up to here, but it will require a small regional city. So we might be using our food to upgrade Chang'an first. Now that we have over 20 food even during winter. And then we'll pop a marketplace building down. We're gonna get attacked. We need to summon some generals here. Just to help with the defense. Alright, Domin's level pretty high. We'll summon him. We'll keep Zhou Tai. Maybe her. We do want to level her up a bit more. Even though a champion might be better duelist. Huh, that's a tough call. What skill does she have? Ah, uh, that's not that good. He has hamstring. Okay, I think we're going to use him. Even though they don't like any of them, but it's fine. Get some instinct. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Jincheng's fully built. Interesting. We just need reforms. We don't actually need to build a marketplace here. It would help the income, but it doesn't help with the uh, silk. But we probably still eventually upgrade it. Maybe even now, if we don't have to spend the money elsewhere. Alright, let's spend it now then. Although, I don't know. We don't have enough food to do two sets of small regional cities. Maybe we'll wait till we get more food over here. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're good. We're waiting for this fight during the end turn phase. Let's see if Xiaohodun wants to duel Lü Bu. Alright, Huang Shao is finally dead. So all the yellow turbans are gone on the map. He's scared. He didn't come. He's not on march. So it's a little awkward. If we go after him, he can just run. He is on march. Means we can easily kill him now. Uncomplicated. That's a terrible trait. Probably just means we'll have to get rid of him soon. Alright, we got our horse pasture back. We want to upgrade the town first. Alright, we're going to go kill him first. He's not going to be able to reach anywhere except for the horse pasture. Which is fine. 
Liu Bao is a headache. He's bypassed the farmland and headed towards us. While well, the meantime, Jia Long has a new army coming from behind. It's not full healed yet, but it's still a problem. Mm, this is the farmer that we didn't recruit. I quite like him. Now our salt mine is level 3. They're going to have trouble taking it. I think Liu Bao is the more urgent target. But I kind of want him to take out these cities. Especially towns. I don't want to spend 5,000 gold annexing it. We could try to set up an ambush of sorts here. Uh, they're not going to travel this far up. Let's see. The boundary of the salt mine. This is the salt mine. Alright. We need to sneak her onto this side of the map. Chengdu salt mine. Yep. So they will get ammo boost and they will lose ammo. That's the best we can do for them. Finally can pick a new reform. We're done with Onyx Dragons, but we could help out with uh, the buildings here. Level 4 state workshops and also level 4 tool makers. Or we can simply pick up this one, which will help public order everywhere we don't want a rebellion and we can focus on more um, tax collection in Anding. And this will also lead down to corruption reducing ones. Or we can go down here. These are all good choices, to be honest. And get high level cavalry, high level uh, horse pasture. This is also very important. Maybe economy first. We can't even keep the horse pasture safe at this point, so might as well wait. This means Anding should have an upgrade here. Our corruption is peaking up. We need to start worrying about it soon. Alright, they'll die. We'll just die first. I think we should fight and cut it. Just because I want to be full. Uh, no one injured when we fight Xia Hodun. So let's start here. See you guys at the end. Alright. That was a clean fight. Been trying to feed Liu Bu experience. I gave him kills. But he's still not level 8 yet. How far are we from level 8? Oh, very close. Okay. Really need that reach. We'll let him run around. I think that's it. We don't really have to do much. We're getting sieged here. Um, if we go fight in an open field battle, I'm not sure we'll win. We'll try to outlast them in this siege. Um... Because it needs, they need six turns, and he's ready short on supplies. So, we'll see. Let's continue. Oh, Jia Long's faction, or oh, Jia Long died. It's willing to become our vassal. Hmm, we do want their land, but Liu Biao is being a headache right now. This could be a compromise. It delays our southern expansion. But. It might allow us to consolidate the Shu and Ba lands. And take over the Yi province. 15 points of cash. She really wants this uh, guarantee of, of. Autonomy here. What if we don't give this. That way we can annex them in the future.
Right, we can just give them something else. Ah, oh, they're currently trading with the High Empire. Hmm. We could give them some food. Nah, let's just give them money. Three points of money is not going to be too much. A couple thousand. Maybe a thousand. Okay. We'll take this deal. That way we can annex them in the future. And then we can turn our attention to Liu Biao, who is just encroaching and took our weaponsmith. That's the worst part. Alright. Chang Yan is still alive. Surprisingly. Okay. We can now turn our attention to Liu Biao. He took the farmland, which is good. That's like the only thing he did that I approve of. Alright, we just gotta follow. Alright, I think we're good with the buildings. Two new characters. Burned officer. Sun Jian, willing to spy for us, so definitely not a spy. Alright, we're taking her. Doesn't matter if she's greedy and disloyal. Oh, even though that's going to be so hard to keep her happy. She's 51 too. She's going to die soon. But we're still going to take her. There's no reason not to. Oh, we've seen you before. You're useless. Stone Statue of Confucius. That's not bad for a cavalry army. We're going to add her in here right away. Wow, she is mighty angry. Even just hired. That's going to be very difficult to keep her happy. Um... What we're going to do is probably give her a couple promotions or or we could just make her our This might be cheaper to be honest. And it will satisfy Lu Bu's mission. She's a random character, it doesn't matter. Eventually we'll get rid of her. She's also old. And she gets along with our wife. All right. I think this is a win-win for everyone. Wow, Dong Zhou doesn't like anyone. Okay. Our court is definitely not harmonious. But Li Bu's mission is done. So we get extra retinue upkeep discount plus 4% replenishment plus 5 satisfaction for all Vanguard. That's really good actually. And we can invoke council. Raise a new force. That's not hard. Assign catch. Okay, to the Grant Excellency. We'll see. If some opportunity comes up, we'll do it. Alright, now we have two stacks of Burren officers here. Good for us. This is still a sticky situation. They are, re they are losing our attrition, so we just outweigh them. And then we'll launch our counterattack. I know we're losing um, garrisons as well. Uh, but... They are losing reserve faster than we are. We just lost reserve about the same time they did. We'll be okay. I don't think the generals... Oh, they will lose health too, huh? Well, they're already losing health. It's fine. We've got to force them to fight our, in with our towers. Unless we can delegate this fight and win right now. We might be able to. Ah, close. Maybe next turn. Alright, back to the main show. Lu Bu is our main show. Sahudun's walked back, but he's still not on march. We'll see if he's willing to fight us here. No, he chickened out. We'll still chase him. We have another issue. Cao has a new army. They just never quit. But I still trust our capital's defense, so we're going to be fine. 
Yeah, because we ran out of reserves, the rebellion is going to start soon. Although I think they have to deal with that too. It's not just us. Hmm. I don't think I have any characters that I want to send out as spies. Yeah, I don't think I have anyone with quiet. Nope. Alright. Um, I think we can just go to the next turn then, if that's the case. Everyone's moved. Let's continue. Alright. Zhang Hian's still fighting. That's pretty amazing he's still alive. Another banquet. We ignore them again. Same mission. Alright, we will gain some uh, charge speed. That's good. Let's play from him killing people over and over again. Finally, some expertise items. Let's see. Can we delegate this fight and get the win? They all have items. Still no. Well, it's attrition on both sides, so... We will save the fight until we have to. Meanwhile, we gotta hunt down this guy. I can't believe we're still not fully replenish it. Alright. See, Sao didn't run away. Yes, he did. He has reach. We don't. That's the big problem. But I can't just leave him here either. We just have to follow him. We just can't do anything about this. This army is replenishing. Alright, just buildings and then we'll continue. There we go. Conscription building. Alright, let's go next turn. Alright. Not anything too interesting. Uh, we're getting sieged, so we can destroy their battering ram by losing uh, reserves. We're already at zero reserves, so we're not actually going to lose any reserves. So let's do it. There's also the rebels. Alright, let's see if Liu Bao's army is still here. Oh, they... Re oh, two stacks. Interesting. Alright, we'll hide behind. That could be a tough fight. Five generals. Okay. That should be fun. Over here... I don't know. When can we delegate for a win? We can't. Maybe we need to recruit a few more generals to come here and just overwhelm them with sheer number of generals. We have three turns to do something. He's losing replenishment, but they're, they're gaining replenishment every turn. So that could be an issue. Niu Fu. Ah, also raise that new army. Good. Um, we need more men. We'll take her. Alright, they can get here in two turns, I'm sure. Yeah. That should swing things around. And Sahodun made a mistake. He walked back on March. So we got the fight we want. Uh, let's end our episode with this big fight. Sahodun versus Lü Bu. Uh, night battle for sure. And yeah, let's go. Alright, we're loaded in here, are finally facing off with Xiao Houdun, someone who could potentially challenge Li Bu in a fight. Uh, they have your cavalries all on their, um, well, our right flank. Alright, range unit in the front, not a big threat. Um, we're going to set up our range threat a little bit back, so that 
we can give Li Bu a little bit of room to start dueling. Uh, we can even go farther back. That way we don't have to worry about losing out on too much microing. We'll just make a little box here where we don't have to worry about them too much. Even though the cavalry is all on this flank, we're still going to cover both just in case they maneuver. But this also means we're going to keep our cavalry on this side. Uh, we'll group these guys not together. Right flank five, left flank six. All right, let's get a duel started. This is what everyone's waiting for. A worthy opponent with decent enough items and high enough level. Nice. We will respect him and actually use our abilities. Uh, but I'm going to wait till the army is closer to use it. Because the splash damage will hit people too. There's the red hair. It's close. This is also before he lost his eye. Still the two eye model, not the one eye Sao Hodun. They're already scared just because Lu Bu is right around them. The scare is already dropping their morale. Uh, we might not be able to use this. We might be able to use it to get on our horse. Oh, maybe that's how he lost his eye. Alright, we need to get on our horse. Get on our horse. Come on, getting stabbed. Don't die to these lowly peasants. Alright, smash the ground. Breakthrough. Alright, let's kill some strategists. Look at these guys, all super scared. Alright, make sure we don't hit into those by accident and lose our horse. Yeah, Sahodun's men are routing because they lost their commander. Losing morale there. A little bit of space. Away from these spearmen would be nice. Now, Shaodun was tough. We did lose a lot of health. I'm not gonna lie. Might be safer to pull him back to our main army, but I wanna kill these generals first. That was us using our ability right there. All those dead bodies. We're not doing much damage to him. We're only hitting him with a charge and not our weapon. There we go. Yeah, our weapon does a lot. Alright, we gotta loop around, kill the other strategists. Look at them. Alright, the cavalry is on to us. You know what? We're gonna head back. We're gonna let them regroup and come towards us. These cavalry might be a little pesky. Hi, guys. You guys can move a little bit forward. Well, half of their army doesn't even want to fight anymore. I hope he levels up after this. 200 kills, please, uh, plus killing uh, Sa Holduin and the other general. Should be enough experience, right? 
Let's go. Fireball. Yeah, I don't know about charging us. Might be a bad idea. John Hell deserves a better weapon. I hope we can get the weapon craftsman back and actually give him a good weapon soon. They're not even coming. They keep changing their mind. They're like, charge, no retreat. And this general is like, no bully run. We're running into the enemy. And then they're like, I'm not so sure about this. And watch Lu Bu come closer to them and they have the area effect of scare. They're all going to turn and run. Watch her morale right now is 13 drops to 9. Just because Lu Bu is close by. I think it's 4 points, maybe a little less. It's kind of like the fire effect. I want to whack her. Your head is my... Three hit. Three hits all it takes. Alright, third hit. Uh, only I think our horse brushed her. Can we use our weapon? Ah, uh, come on. We can't use abilities when she's around. She has that ceiling cooldown ability. Which means we need to kill her. There we go. Alright. I think they're gonna all route soon. Let's just kill some people with Lubu in the meantime. That's the only unit that's not routed. Alright. Not a great usage. Alright, when we get there, they're gonna route and then we're gonna win this fight. They're exactly at four, so when Lu Bu gets there, they'll be at zero. Scare. Be scared. Three. Only drops one point from Scare? No way. I guess that's the only point we're going to get. Well, negative three now. Negative 93 now. We win? I think we win. There's no one around. Why isn't giving us victory? Anyways, we'll cut to the end. It's been a lot of chasing after that Sahodun's duel. So see you guys then. Alrighty. We did lose a lot of health, but we lost zero men and uh, basically soloed them with Liu Bu. Herdsmen, not that great. Oh, we got the uh, silver uh, cunning horse. That's actually really good. 
we'll just release her. She became one-eyed after this fight. Interesting. Alright, so... That silver horse can go on you. Alright, this army is pretty much doomed. We can hunt it down for more intimidation if we want to. Or we should actually start headed back because there's more armies coming up. Um, let's see. We do have a lot of money. 30k to be exact. We don't actually have to rush anything. Alright, we're going to go with a little bit of food first. Where is the commandery that we're actually upgrading Chang'an? Yeah, we need to upgrade this one more time. Alright. Um, they're going to get here in two turns. We'll have a big fight on our hand over here soon. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come back next episode and uh, face down with Liu Biao, who is encroaching onto our uh, E province. We're going to beat him back. And because of how the situation down south turned out, we might not go for the spices right away. Simply because we have to go through all these unclaimed territory. We don't need to actually take a full army there. We can easily start a new army here. Uh, get through our vassal's land, grab the copper mine, start heading down slowly, uh, build up a force once we get closer, and then start taking over Shixie's land and start attacking uh, Sun Jian's land as well. With Dong Zhuo's army, I think what we're going to do is we're going to just beat back everyone here, uh, take Shang Yun, take the rest of the Ba lands, and then we might come out uh, over here in Xiangyang, and Lu Bu will still be plugging leaks, and maybe... Maybe we'll swing back and pincer around here just to clear opening. But I'm not sure if that's the best uh, course of action because then we have a lot of exposed uh, territories to defend. And right now we don't have to worry that much. A better option might be for Dongzhou's army to kill uh, this area here, then sail down and start grabbing uh, the south and start challenging Sun Jian over here. Because the way he's growing, he's definitely going to end up becoming one of the kings. Um, although surprisingly he's not even duke yet um, we're definitely going to be the other emperor now the third emperor could be Gong Sun Zan actually with the way he's growing uh, or perhaps Liu Bei he's sneakily increasing land in weird places and same as Yuan Yao he has some weird territories so we're going to come back to this uh, against Liu Biao going forward for a while and his vassals as we uh, still need to plug a lot of leaks over here uh, but the build-up continues, so see you all next time. Bye!